Hello everybody, this is FC7 with another Orcs Must Die 3 video. This time I'm sharing my playthrough of Colosseum on War Mage difficulty. And my trap lineup was just on the screen there. So I had been having a lot of issues with this particular map. But since the DLC came out, I was able to defeat it. And I think the saw blade launcher had a lot to do with it, so that's part of my lineup here. It seems to have made a lot of difference, so what I'm going to do is just share my 5 skull playthrough, and the first wave here, I'm just going to use the blunderbuss, make sure to shoot a lot of grenades from the secondary. All these traps are at the highest, um, the highest levels, so just keep that in mind. So we'll just do this first wave quick. And this hero seems to have a really cool ability to levitate, so that's helpful on this level I found. So I will just finish off this ogre. Get ready for the next wave. So I'll set the barricades down here and some saw blades over here. The barricades you have to kind of be careful with because if you don't put them in the correct spots, then the larger mobs will try to break them. So I have to be aware of that. Another door is being attacked. They've breached another door. Die, die, die. Let me just get rid of these guys. So the nice thing about the saw blade launcher is that it uses the barricades to ricochet the blades off of. So you can create some nice trap setups that way. And I think that really helped with this win. So I'll just run over quick and regenerate some health from the rift. A barricade is under attack. Of course we won. Place some more brimstone here. <clears throat> I don't have the coins. More enemies on the way. Our enemies are breaking through elsewhere. They bring another door. Keep an eye on the barricade health because there are some explosive mobs that um, will come through and try to destroy the barricades. So I have the brimstone set to deal arcade damage, which is good because there are a lot of mobs that are fire based and will be immune to regular fire brimstone. Ready as always. More enemies on the way. So now we'll go on to this next wave. The enemy army is attacking on another front. And they'll be coming through here. Look out. The have been Where are you going, again. huh? Watch out for the archers. 
they have ranged DPS. Heal a little bit. And I think I'll set up a flip trap there. And ready for the next wave. Whoops, that's a floor trap. Set up a couple saw blades over here. No better place than this. And I forgot to mention, I'm playing this with a PlayStation 4 controller. I found that I'm more comfortable playing with the PlayStation 4 controller than the Xbox one that I was using in my other videos. I think Stadia just added support for playing with the PlayStation 4 controller on the PC. So it really adds an element to the game. Big or small, I can take them all down. Yay! I need more coin. We'll start the next wave. I'm going to need coins. And again, death really doesn't matter in this game. There's really no penalty for it. It won't affect your five skull. Get this ogre. Find uh, another spot to put some more saw blades. There we go. Another expected victory. Enemies on the way. They'll never see this one. <laughs> That's the way. So I always run back to my choke point here. Make sure that nothing is getting through.
they're small, I can take them all down. All right, on to the next wave. I love traps. Place some more traps around here. Mostly brimstone and saw blades. Those are probably my two main more most important traps in this uh, particular run. The blunderbuss is also a must needed weapon. One of my favorite weapons in this game. So we'll just finish these guys up and get ready for the next level. Place a few more traps down. And last wave coming up. The optimal spot. And again, if you see dynamite archers, get them first before everything because they will destroy your barricades. As well as the runners that have um, explosive barrels on their back. Because if your barricades run out, then your run's pretty much over. So just keep those under control and you should be fine. So that should just about do it for this video. That is my run of Coliseum on War Mage. Any questions or comments, leave them below. This was a fun level. And look forward to more Orcs Must Die 3 videos in the future. Have a great day.